Welcome to the Real Estate Raw Show, hosted by Joe Mendoza. So you've tried the fix and flip game, and you failed. You've tried the buy and hold, and you failed. Well, guys, there might be another way to financial freedom, passive income, and they say sometimes like, hey, should I get a license or should I not? I've had my real estate broker license for over 20 years, and it's worked out really, really well for me and many, many others, including today's guest. So guys, if you're loving what you're watching, smash that bell, subscribe, share with a friend, take that one golden nugget and run, run hard. So let's sit back, watch and enjoy this show. Hi guys, Joe Mendoza here in sunny San Diego. Welcome to my show. Thanks so much for watching, subscribing, and sharing the great word. Ladies and gentlemen, I am super excited to have an amazing guest on my show. Now, this person's also a business associate, business partner of mine, coming from San Antonio, Texas. He's killing it, absolutely killing it. He has over 3,000 agents ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show pat hayes how are you hey i'm doing great uh, hey th thanks for having me joe i'm doing awesome just uh, uh living the dream over here at exp baby i'm super excited to hear your story for the audience that doesn't know you let's take them back before exp before real estate tell us a little bit about pat yeah yeah absolutely yeah so uh, i'm here in uh, san antonio texas with uh, exp realty been selling real estate here in san antonio for eight years but before my real estate career, uh, you know, I did the whole traditional, you know, go to college and, you know, go get that awesome degree to go make mom and dad happy. So I did that. I went and got a, a degree at Texas State University in San Marcos, Texas. And then um, right, um, right after that, I jumped into medical sales here in San Antonio for about six years, uh, you know, having a lot of fun, you know, making a lot of great money. Um, but um, I was on that corporate America hamster wheel. Um, where, um, you know, I, I was just kind of, uh, uh, you know, the next year it started over, my quota was getting raised and raised and raised and raised. And, uh, you know, I was working for the man and I wanted to be the man. So I actually, uh, after six years, I uh, uh, left corporate America and uh, uh, left that, uh, you know, behind and uh, uh, bought a senior home care franchise, which is kind of crazy because I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about the industry, but my father, my dad was the CFO of the whole entire organization based out of San Antonio. And I had an opportunity to buy an underperforming franchise office in Austin, Texas. And so um, ended up buying that, uh, bought it for $50,000, ended up growing it for three years uh, and uh, took it from $250,000 in annual revenue to $1.3 million in three years, um, bought it as an investment and uh, ended up selling it. And then um, in between, um, and so it, it, let me kind of go back. So in, um, whenever I was in medical sales, um, that's whenever I got my, uh, my real estate license. And um, I actually joined a, um, um, a, uh, a farm and ranch broker uh, based out of Hondo, Texas, Texas Ranch Sales. So I sold a few ranches, if you believe it or not. Um, and uh, then whenever I bought that senior home care franchise, I put my license inactive for a few years and then sold the franchise uh, in uh, 2013 and always wanted to do residential real estate. So um, I uh, uh, um, parked my license with a small independent brokerage firm here in San Antonio. But between selling that company and uh, finding that uh, boutique brokerage firm here in San Antonio, I was a private investor for a digital media marketing startup company. Within about six months, I lost my whole investment of over $300,000. And so I had to make real estate work. I didn't want to go back to corporate America and get back on that hamster wheel. So I dove straight in. Uh, into real estate. So my first year, so after I joined that boutique brokerage firm at the end of 2013, my first full year in real estate was 2014. Um, I sold $3.2 million in production um, as, a, uh, as a single agent, uh, really found my passion selling real estate. And I wanted to go to the next level. And the only way for me to do that back then was to become a team leader. So I became a team leader that second year. Second year, I sold 12.5 million in production, 61 transactions. And then that's whenever I got that life-changing phone call, the end of my second year, December of 2015, for me to take a look at a new business model um, that was changing the way that agents were being compensated and also disrupting the real estate industry. So 
I had an open mind and I took a look at the opportunity and uh, the rest is history. So uh, I've been with eXp now for uh, uh, what going on, what, 62, 63 months as I track it in, in months. Everybody makes fun of me because I track it in months. Um, but um, I'm having a blast over here. That's awesome, Pat. Thanks so much for sharing. Now, let's uh, jump back a little bit to some of those steps in between. Yeah. Now, it sounded you were having a great business with the senior housing or um, that franchise. Yep. Why didn't you just stay that course? Why did you end up selling it? Well, you know, it, it, um, uh, it, it's kind of a burnout industry because it's 24-7, 365. Uh, and so we provided caregivers to come into the homes uh, of the elderly so they could live their, their elderly years in their home instead of having to sell it and then go into a retirement facility. And so, um, you know, it was tough. You know, I managed, uh, you know, over 100 employees and, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was just an investment. And so I grew it to the point where, uh, you know, I could sell it and, uh, you know, get a great return. And so uh, ended up doing that. But uh, I learned a lot throughout those three years. I really did. Um, and so, um, you know, I, um, I live here in San Antonio, Texas and the, the franchise where I bought, uh, was in Austin, Texas. So it was a two hour drive, uh, you know, almost every single day. So it, uh, it was time after three years to let it go. And, and, uh, you know, I built it up and, and, uh, the new owner came over and, and took over and, uh, uh, the rest is history. So it was a lot of fun though. Sounds good. Now you're quite the entrepreneur, the go-getter. Now, why didn't you think like, Hey, you know what, let me just start my own brokerage. Yeah, you know, and I honestly, I really didn't, um, you know, know what to do or where to start. And I just wanted to start small. I didn't want to go to a big KW office, a Century 21 office, a Coldwell Banker office or a Remax office, you know, all great companies out there. But it was a perfect timing for me uh, to connect with my boutique brokers because they were starting and wanting to start growing their, their you know, their, their uh, you know, their, um, uh, you know, their brokerage firm. And so it was a perfect timing for me to step in. And so I stepped in and I helped them, you know, I was their first agent and I helped them get their office to about 65 agents in a little over two years. Very nice. Very nice. Now you said you started as a solo agent and then you shifted to team leader. Right. Why did you want to do that? Yeah. And so, you know, I was looking to grow and I was wanting to scale and, uh, you know, that's the, that's the kind of the old traditional way of scaling is, uh, you know, hey, you become a uh, uh, become a team leader, you know, hire a few buyers agents and start growing a team. And so, uh, you know, I needed to leverage myself. And so that was the only way for me to do that back then was to become the team leader. And so I did so, you know, now over here at EXP, just like what you said, you know, I've been over here uh, since December of 2015. Uh, and uh, I've been able to personally sponsor 41 agents to the organization that's grown into over 3,100 agents spanning 45 states, five Canadian provinces, Australia, India, and Mexico. That's amazing, Pat. Now, I love that you pointed out the word leverage. I right. mean, in real estate, that's all we think about. If you really want to scale, you want to have passive income, you want to grow. What were some of the challenges uh, in between those six years or 63 months, as you said, scaling. Yeah, you know, and so, uh, you know, I, for one, I love real estate. You know, it's my passion. It's my livelihood. You know, and I still have a small sales team here in San Antonio. We do anywhere from seven to $10 million a year in production every single year. Um, but uh, I saw the opportunity um, with EXP that, you know, we could share this model with like-minded individuals all across the country and grow a massive revenue share organization. And so, that's what I did. I saw the vision. I saw the opportunity and I just took full advantage of it. And so, um, you know, it's, it's amazing that, uh, you know, my, uh, you know, my revenue share organization sold close to 1200 houses last month and I wasn't even a part of one single transaction. And so that's the beautiful thing about this opportunity in, 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 in this model is you can grow a massive revenue share organization all across the country, wherever EXP is, you can attract agents to the model there and start, uh, you know, having your agent sell those houses or whatnot. And so I saw the opportunity to leverage myself even more other than just become a, a team leader. I can become kind of the, the head of a massive revenue share organization. And so I saw the opportunity and uh, took full advantage of it. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it has it been easy. No, has it been, you know, it's been a lot of fun, you know, but it didn't happen overnight. You know, I'm going on my, my sixth year down uh, at EXP and, uh, you know, my organization is now growing over 245 agents now are joining my revenue share organization every 30 days. Absolutely. That's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> Pat, so I coach a lot of people throughout the nation and several countries. And I always tell them, hey, to scale, you need great people and great systems. 
who are some of your core people in your immediate group helping you run your business and your uh, 3000 organization? Who are your, some of your core immediate people? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and I've got a lot of great agents, you know, in my direct director organization though, but uh, you know, I've got about four or five runners as I call them um, that really took full advantage. Like I did uh, in growing this organization. You know, I've got uh, uh, my good friend, Brent Walgren, you know, he's got a group of close to 500 agents. I've got Ian Flanagan, um, I've got Bob Mangold, which, uh, uh, you know, is uh, 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 a lot of you guys in California. He's responsible for that because then he went out and got, you know, Larry White and, and uh, Joseph Limo and it just started exploding. Right. And so it's amazing how fast this can grow. You know, you get one leader and, uh, you know, you get one big influencer and then all of a sudden your organization just grows, you know, and, and, and we're able to get paid off of seven tiers uh, in our organization. And so. Um, it's a lot of fun. Agents are having a blast, you know, just like my good, uh, my good friend and my mentor, Gene Frederick says, EXP is making real estate fun again. And it truly is. It's a lot of fun. That's awesome. So how about staff? Do you have anybody on salary, any virtual assistants, anybody like that? Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, it's funny, um, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I just have myself, uh, you know, in my wife, you know, my wife is kind of my, uh, um, executive assistant, if you will. Um, and I was able to retire her from corporate America because of the revenue share, right? And so we set a goal back in January of 2018, whenever my revenue share check, you know, hits a certain dollar amount, um, then I would let her give her 60 day notice to her boss um, in exit corporate America after 13 years. She was a physical therapist and um, she managed 75 physical therapists here in San Antonio, 15 locations here in San Antonio. And she was on that corporate America hamster wheel as well too, just you know, always grinding, always grinding, always grinding, you know, yeah, make great money, six figures, you know, the benefits and, and, uh, you know, the trips and uh, the bonuses and all the incentives and all that stuff. But we said, Hey, you know what, I, I want you to help me, you know, work with me. And so uh, six months later in July of 2018, we hit that goal, which was a huge lofty goal. We hit that goal um, as a family. And uh, since then she, uh, you know, she gave her 60 day, day notice and and uh, train her replacements and uh, since then got her real estate license. And now she's uh, working with me and having fun with me. So it's kind of, um, it's us together. And then also my dad is my CFO of my real estate uh, uh, organization, my real estate business. And uh, so it's just kind of a little family business that we, uh, uh, that we all manage and run together. That's awesome, Pat. Congratulations. Thanks. Now, I can imagine that your day must be pretty full or how do you structure your day? Because, I mean, having that many agents and all kinds of business going on, I mean, do you have a miracle morning, a evening ritual? What's your day look like? Yeah, so uh, my wife and I, you know, we've got three kiddos. We've got uh, boy-girl twins that are, um, um, uh, that are um, getting or 10 right now, getting ready to be 11 next month. Uh, they're in fifth grade. And then a baby boy that's, I call him baby boy. Um, he's eight, getting ready to be nine. That's in third grade. And so, you know, we start our morning, obviously, with, with them and, and uh, you know, breakfast with them, get them up, get them ready for school. And we, we uh, my wife and I take them to school as a family. Uh, and then whenever we drop them off, that's kind of when our, you know, whenever our day gets started. Um, you know, sometimes we like to, you know, depending on the, the time of the year or the weather, we like to go for walks and we've got two dogs as well too. So we'll take them for walks in the morning and then, you know, kind of really get our day started. But, uh, you know, my day is, uh, you know, jam packed full of three-way phone calls with other agents, full of zoom calls, uh, you know, sharing the EXP opportunity with other agents. Um, I travel a lot as well too, doing presentations on the road. And so, uh, you know, every day is totally different. I mean, my calendar, like today, my calendar is booked, uh, you know, with about uh, seven or eight appointments. Uh, three-way phone calls, Zoom calls or whatnot. But uh, um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, but it's fun though. You know, it's, uh, I, I love a, a jam-packed day, it makes the day go faster and it's a lot of fun. And, you know, if my calendar is full, that means we're growing and we're having fun. Are there any rituals that you have? Maybe like workout routines, meditation, any secret sauces? You know what? It, it's, uh, it's kind of funny though. Um, I like to do a lot of cold plunges, right? And so it's, uh, you know, I've got a swimming pool in the backyard. And so it's jumping in the cold water. It's called, uh, you know, Wim Hof. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's jumping in the cold water. And I, I learned it from my good friend, the co-founder of EXP, Brian Colhane. He kind of got me started about three or four years ago. Uh, you know, jump, it's called cold plunges. And so jumping in the water um, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we do that here in, you know, in the winter times, uh, not in the summer times though, but uh, um, that's kind of what I do. And of course, you know, I like to go on runs and walks and, uh, you know, work out when, you know, whenever I can, but, uh, uh, you know, really just spending time, you know, quality time with the kiddos in the morning. Uh, you know, that's kind of our ritual um, with my wife and I. Awesome. Awesome. Any favorite books that you have that uh, 
help you keep your mind straight or helped you scale any favorite books? You know what? It, it, I, I like, I like a lot of books. You know, I don't really have, uh, uh, you know, one favorite book at all. Um, but, um, you know, anything that I can get my hands on that, uh, you know, will help me, uh, uh, you know, go to the next level. I do have a good friend and a good mentor of mine, uh, Tony Jerry. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a, a success coach, uh, been, been at his compound several times. And, um, you know, I've, I've read a lot of his books and, uh, uh, you know, if, if I had a, a favorite book or, or a favorite mentor, you know, it would definitely be Tony Jerry. Awesome. Awesome. Now for the audience that may be in real estate or just starting their careers, any word of advice you could share with them? Yeah. You know, and, and, and honestly, you know, and, and, uh, you know, I wish, you know, this is, this is a true fact. I wish I would have known about eXp Realty whenever I first got started in residential real estate because I was at that small independent brokerage firm learning on my own. I had to pay $6,000 my first year to be a Tom Ferry student. I had to hire Tom Ferry and a coach to help me kind of get my business to the next level. And at eXp, we share the same uh, you know education, the same knowledge for free to all the agents, right? And so, um, if you guys haven't checked out EXP Realty, you know, get with Joe. Check out EXP; it's an amazing opportunity. The training is unbelievable. The lead generation tools and the systems that EXP offers is is, is by far top notch. Um, and then also the equity awards. You know, our stock is just going crazy. Uh, and then uh, you know the revenue sharing model as well too, where you can actually share exp with a few agents and then they share with a few agents and then you're actually building another stream of, of income which is passive income from the revenue share um, and kind of building that exit strategy right and so um, exp is just an unbelievable model it's life-changing it's you know truly you know changed my life changed my business uh and we're only getting started i mean this is this is still the the, the ground floor this is still the, the garage we're in the garage of exp right now because you know what we're almost at forty five thousand agents um and uh, you know we're getting ready to launch four or five new countries this year and uh, we're just growing like crazy we're going at about a thousand agents now every single week that's right every single week a thousand new agents are joining exp so um, we're having a lot of fun. So if you haven't checked out eXp, you've never heard of eXp, you know, get with Joe, take a look at the model and, uh, you know, would love to answer any and all questions that, you know, anybody has. Pat, this has been a pleasure. I'm super, super excited to hear more in the future. Maybe have you back as a guest. We wish you well. Um, best way to get a hold of you. Anything else you wanted to share? Yeah, you guys, uh, you know, I'll, uh, uh, you guys can definitely hit me up on, uh, on Facebook Messenger, you know, Pat Hayes, P-A-T-H-A-Y-S. And then, uh, hey, my cell phone number, 210-693-8711, 210-693-8711. But uh, hit me up on uh, Facebook Messenger uh, if you guys have any questions and uh, would love to, uh, you know, help anybody out. Thank you again so much, Pat. Have an amazing day. We wish you well. Hey, thanks so much, Joe. Take care. Wow. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I hope you learned as much as I did or more. So guys, look at the comment thread. If you seen something or heard something, want to learn more about something, please put it on the comment link below. If you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that bell to hear the latest and greatest on the show. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. I'm putting this channel together to hopefully add incredible value to you. And if you want to learn more about investing, you're new to investing, I highly recommend this book, Flex with a Plex. Also this book, if you're having some challenges, as you can see, everybody on the show had some kind of adversity, including yours truly. So I shared a lot of that on Make It A Comeback, giving you some incredible tips to make a comeback. So get either one, Plex with a Plex, or Make It A Comeback. If you want to get more tips, go ahead and go to JoeMendoza.com. Again, subscribe, share, like, make a comment below. I really, really appreciate you. Want to add incredible value and wish you all the best in your success in real estate and in life. Take care. Our company is not responsible for the success or failure of your business decisions relating to any information presented by our company or our company programs, products, and or services.